to end it but let's just continue with this this is courtesy of bbc news and again a good example why i say that or why maybe not a good example maybe this is a good sort of um rep good idea no it's not maybe this is a good example of why i think hospitality and nightlife is never going to get back to where it was before because i think some people have definitely for sure been forever scarred by the damages of the pandemic and damages of just cuddling in large groups and just seeing some of the terrible things that have been happening around the world and i think this is another example of it when you see videos like this of stuff like this happening during the pandemic times you're just never gonna re you're gonna refuse to go out willingly especially to crowded places like this even though this is a freak accident but still what a horrible 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 day um but this is the following wisconsin driver intentionally mowed down people at a parade i'm sure most of you have seen the video clip already so i'm not going to play it but essentially what happened was a guy was um he drove down a very busy street where a parade was taking place and mowed down an entire group of people killing i think five injuring up to 40 like just heinously heinously careless reckless savage evil shit like you just can't even get past it like, it's just horrendous and it says the following as a quote wisconsin officials will seek charge to charge the driver who plowed into a christmas parade on sunday with five counts of intentional homicide police said daryl edward brooks 39 killed five people aged between 52 and 81 which again um is ultra sad but i think what made it even more sad was the fact that there were kids there you saw kids there and loads of older people so you you were just thinking oh my god for you would imagine if there's one if there's, if there's two sets of people that you'd want to stop for if you're a career in the street at those kind of speeds would be kids and young people right you would want to stop for kids and older people sorry that's what you want to do you respect your elders and obviously the kids are the new generation you'd want to do that you want to be like you know what i know i'm and i just robbed the bank which you obviously didn't like the absolute scumbag but i'm gonna stop and just take my blessings take my punishment as is like a man and keep it moving but i don't need to involve all these innocent bystanders in my flipping nonsense but it continues here it says mr brooks was fleeing a domestic disturbance bruv it wasn't even anything crazy like a bank robbery he got into some passer with his what his baby mama they got into some drama with his partner or whatever and that's what he caused him to fly into a street at 60 miles per hour crowded with people on a parade oh bury him under the jail like some people just don't deserve to live after that you know what i mean some way if there was a way to just expire somebody foundation style you just put them on that board and poof, they just turn into ash that would be the way to go about things because oh yeah yeah they, they added that he could face further charges based on the investigation of course because other people might die because loads of people were injured oh, god um what wakisha police said the incident was not an act of terrorism several court children and grandparents were among the victims and of course you got the age of the victims everyone was super old um there was no way they were going to survive that impact but they were ah they were living their lives doing their thing man they were perfectly fine before like oh it's so heartbreaking um it continues it says they include the um, members of the milwaukee dancing grannies who were a regular fixture of the cities imagine plowing into a group called the milwaukee dancing grannies you are a sick fuck if that's what you do and you're from that area too so he clearly knew something was going on there or recognized it when he got there and still decided to drive through anyway um, it continues says our group are doing what they loved performing in front of crowds and parading putting smiles on face of all ages the group wrote in a statement on facebook those who died were extremely passionate grannies um, it continues says dozens of people remained in hospital police said the injured were taken to six area hospitals by first responders as well as other residents who were all there um 18 children and admit to oh God, 18 children oh, yeah, yeah. imagine how shook of or just how imagine your dad that took your kid to these parades told him to told him or her to hold your spot while she went to go get some hot cocoa maybe some marshmallows maybe some cotton floss candy or whatever right to go and give to your kid and then you turn back around and everyone's screaming you run over to the thing you see your kid strewn on the floor because some dickhead in a red suv decided to plow down the street because he was having a domestic disturbance oh yeah yeah again domestic disturbance could mean anything it could be an argument it could mean trying to assault somebody but it's not enough for you to decide to go down a busy packed street at like those kind of speeds like i just can't understand it it continues here um okay that's what they think oh jesus christ care providers described the incident as one of the state's largest mass casualties the injuries range between 16 and but yeah look at the guy that's the dude and unfortunately he's black so 
that's a complete L on our part. Like, what an absolute piece of shit. What we know about a suspect, a lone subject intentionally drove in a maroon SUV through the barricades into a crowd of people that were celebrating the Wakisha Christmas Parade. Say pre Dan Thompson said, he said he added that the officer had fired shots at the vehicle but had to stop due to the number of people on the street. Oh yeah, true. I think that's what they say about mass shootings, isn't it? In America, they say if he was actually, they actually said if he was, yeah, I think that, what yeah the theory goes if there was a mass shooting like for instance i think i think it came off the back of that unfortunate event that happened in las vegas which we still don't know what why he fucking decided to do what he did but that guy that's like that country music thing and got a submachine gun or whatever maybe outside the window of some of those casinos and was picking people off but the theory goes that on that during that event i think when he was doing that um that what's this guy called who's that kind of flagrant guy on instagram with the beard who gets all the girls and shit with the guns anyway whoever that guy was he was in the crowd ducking for cover and shit and he was trying to get a gun from a police officer to help you know um put down the assailant right because obviously cops have two guns as they're going around and shit and the cop was like go fuck yourself right they didn't want really to give it to him and obviously he was somewhat put out by it the video came out people no, the video came out of the guy's body cam and people basically take the piss out of the guy. But the theory goes that it was it's actually gonna be this it's actually gonna be it's not beneficial for somebody else to have a gun who isn't trained in that crowded environment or isn't maybe up to scratch when it comes to being a marksman, because you're gonna end up killing more people than you're gonna end up saving. You're not going to save people. It's not like the movies. You know, you can't just go in to having a firefight in front of, in a crowded area. It's not going to happen. You need to clear some distance, clear some space and whatnot. So it, it was made doubly hard to stop the vehicle, continue killing people because if they did shoot, they might have hit someone. And, you know, that, they would never heard the end of that if that, if that was the case. Um, but, yeah, this is the guy, I think, on breaking um, news 9-11. Going into court and shit. Oh, I don't know, man. This is him there, right? Is it him? I've got the pit thing here. Where is it? It's here. There it is there. Breaking news. Um, the suspect appears in court. Criminal complaint reveals he made no attempt to slow down and drove in the zigzag pattern to hit more pedestrians. Okay, let's do two things. Maybe he was doing a zigzag to avoid them because they're all in the middle of the street to get them out to the street. But if he was doing it on purpose, like, oh my God, bury you under the jail, bruv. What a scumbag. He looks like he's been crying there. Obviously, his eyes look ready, but I don't give a shit. Bell's been set to fire. Oh, no. The extra news is worse. Well, Keisha Christmas Parade death toll rises to six after a child dies. A child died, bruv. You killed a kid, like, off the back of, like, nah. Kid, auntie, bury this guy under the prisons, man. Under the fucking prisons. What a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. Oh, but yeah. Shocking state of affairs. Force of feelings go to everybody associated um, out there. It's not going to be a tough... It's going to be not going to be a tough time. It's going to be a, a, an extremely tough time for you guys out there. Um, I can only imagine, like... Uh, I, I, yeah, I just don't know anymore, innit? I lose hope for humanity sometimes, man. We're already going through a bad time, as it is, and people just feel the need to do things like that. And you just think to yourself, like, what is wrong with you in your head that that would be something that you'd think would be a good idea? Like, I don't know, man. Again, off the back of a domestic disturbance, that's what you decide to do. Plow into a group of flipping children. Really? Oh, I don't know, man. I lose hope for people. I really do lose hope. But <sighs> what can you do?